before the individual can even complain that the transformer has gone, the volunteer will update the information to us. It will be a very strong intelligence as well as a very strong service delivery and overall monitoring mechanism so that we can ensure that the services and the kind of development that is meant for the villages is reaching the village. So therefore, sir, this is a very important CM Connect is what we're calling it. We'll be starting this program very soon. So, sir, I do apologize to the members for having taken up a lot of time, but I thought that it would be appropriate for me to speak about the different points that have been raised throughout this session and give a reply to all those factors. And, sir, again, I, as I mentioned, sir, we are not saying that issues and problems are not there. It is there, sir. We know that challenges are there because last 50 years we have faced it without blaming anybody. But then we need to have that determination in our hearts and in our minds that we will make sure that we change that. And that starts with a vision and a goal and moves forward with teamwork. Today, there are certain members who talk about certain government being run by certain individuals. Sir, no government is run by any individual, sir. It is a teamwork. We believe in teamwork, sir. I cannot do things alone. Honorable Deputy Chief Ministers who are here, they have a responsibility. If they don't work, things will not happen. They are part of the team. It's not run by one individual. And as far as I know, the Chief Minister is Sangma. The Deputy Chief Minister is Tinsong. And another Deputy Chief Minister from Jentia Hills is Mr. Dha. So therefore, sir, can't, let's not make this kind of allegations and remarks which are really very, very petty, sir. Sir, I am, I am not disturbed, the Honourable Member, sir. He should, he, he'll point have of chance. Order. On the Rule 300, sir, point of order, sir, I raise the point of order. Sir, Rule 54, whenever we submit for a call attention, sir, and Rule 54, too, there shall be no debate on such statement at a time it is made. So, sir, do you allow to have a debate? If you allow, then we will debate. I'm ready to debate for you, with you, sir. It doesn't mean that you'll take advantage of this call attention and express what you feel only. We also, we have. When you talk about the mindset, we also, we know what is the mindset. There is a difference between the mindset of a tribal and the different, and the mindset of those who have been upbringing outside the state, sir. So when remember. you walk, want to talk about mindset, let us talk yes. about the mindset. Yes. What kind of mindset you are talking? You think just because we raise issues concerning the state that we are narrow-minded? Honourable member, please. Don't try to sit insinuate. Sit Don't try to insinuate. Because you speak Chief straight Minister to the call attention. That is the point that I've raised in the call attention. No. If you want to debate, let us have another platform to de de debate, sir. You can extend the house. Yes, or okay, we can we allow you to just speak alone? Please stop. Please stop. Mr. Speaker, sir, so point, of order. To point of order. Sir? I'm raising a point of order under Rule 300. In respect of Rule 54.1 of Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business. <clears throat> I think the content of this very rule is itself self-explanatory. We have seen very often the Chief Minister standing on his feet, raising point of order, advising the members of this August House to ensure that we take cognizance of essence of time. The same applies to everybody. And the rule is specific. The minister in charge will make a brief statement on it. Nothing beyond that. Therefore, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, let us go yeah. by the rules. Yeah, yeah. We are privileged to have lots of new members, so they will follow what we, therefore we should lead by example. There is one part, and another, Mr. Speaker, sir, another point of order, <coughs> yeah, I think under right. Rule 300, pertaining to 151, Rule 151, which is pertaining to our supplementary demands for grants and read rule 144 sub rule 3 sub rule 2 and sub rule 3 today we have demands for grants in the form of supplementary demands and 
the rule is very clear, which is advisory, that on the day when demands for grants are taken up, no other matters are taken up usually. Because passing these demands are very important for the August House. Because every Naya Paisa that we intend to spend has to be voted by this House. And when this House is voting, the importance of scrutinizing the proposal by the House is important. So that is the spirit of this SDs. This is the spirit of allowing cut motions. Therefore, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, we have been watching, but it has become a precedence that on the day when demand for grants are taken up, supplementary demands are taken up, we have been taking up too many items which is in contradiction to this rule. So I would like to make a submission from now on in future. I think we should follow that path because demands for grants are crucial. Let us all. It helps the government. It helps the minister when cut motions are brought. You know, because uh, when this is done, I will also come up with another point of order, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. But I would like to submit through you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. Let the time, the essence of time, be appreciated by all. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Thank you. <coughs> now, I would ask whether Honourable Member Arden Bilal Bashumat has any. Sir, again, uh, point of order, sir. If you are all saying that we should follow the rules, it says there is no debate, sir. So the reply has been done and the matter you is. You have started. He has I was replying. Debate means, it is not debate means we go it is an back, back and forth. To show sir, I am speaking, sir. I did not interfere. So I would appreciate if the honourable member would not interfere when I speak. Don't get emotional. He has two. So who got emotional? We saw. So the point is, the point is, sir, that this is this is a call attention, sir, and I would request that since the already reply has been done, so we can move forward, sir. Is what I would uh, urge you. Sir. He can seek one clarification uh, if he is willing to. If you have so, any. So I don't want to ask any clarification. Okay. okay. I've understood the mind of the chief minister. Thank you. I am ready to debate with him one day, sir. Thank you.